So. Welcome into Sports Memos Betting Podcast. College football, every game on the board with Joe Ranieri. Joe, welcome into the pod. How are you? What's going on, man? Exciting. Uh, we've got actually what? We we now know who the top 25 teams in the country are, right? College football playoff. Don't agree with any of it, but hey, it'll all work itself out. Hey, it, it will. And at this point in the season, it really doesn't matter in terms of uh, wins and losses for betters. But tonight's Maction might. And we got uh, Maction in full force here. Miami of Ohio. Versus Mm -hmm. Ohio, I believe this is called the Battle of the Bricks, but uh, if you're a big Maction expert, don't hate on me if that is incorrect. We got the Ohio Bobcats laying seven in Athens, 56 and a half the total, Joe. Yeah, neither of these teams are really exceptional on defense or offense. I think, in fact, the Red Hawks there are one of the worst teams defensively. They rank uh, 118th, if my numbers are correct, in scoring defense this season. Uh, They're giving up an average of about 36 points per game. The Bobcats also... Not much better. They rank 95th in scoring defense. So when you and they allow 30 points a game. So when you put it all together, to me, I don't anticipate a whole lot of scoring on a middle of the week Mac night. And, uh, you know, it's been pretty profitable to back the unders in these midweek games. And given how neither one of these offenses is exceptional. Yeah, I'll go ahead. I'll back the uh, I'll back the under here tonight in this game. All right, Joe, we got Thursday night action in the Sun Belt. Louisiana Lafayette going on the road to Coastal Carolina. The Ragin' Cajuns laying 14 or 14 and a hook. 58 and a half the total here, Joe. Yeah, it's interesting. You know, Lafayette's always been known for this high-powered offense. We're going to go ahead. We're going to score a million points. Coastal Carolina, in fact, they've gone they've gone over five of their last six. But this is not your, you know, this whole fun belt opportunity here is not your typical Mama's uh, University of Louisiana Lafayette. They are much better defensively than they are offensively this year. They've actually played three straight unders uh, on that defense. And and I think the defense is going to reign true again, middle of the week game, fun belt action. I expect uh, that defense to be able to hold Coastal Carolina to uh, to under their total team total as well. So I'm going to go under in this game as well. Yeah, Chanticleers might struggle offensively. Could see that happening as well, Joe. We got AAC action on ESPN. Two games on Thursday night. This is uh, Temple laying one and a Mm. half down in Tampa against South Florida Bulls here. Forty nine and a half the total here in Raymond James. All right. Like, help me, please, here, because I'm actually going to say a nice thing about Charlie Strong. There's a few don'ts I have in the world. One of them is never back Charlie Strong again at South Florida. But the truth is, listen, Temple has never covered a game on the road. They have not covered a game on the road yet this year. Um, The Bulls, listen, they started one and three. They got absolutely destroyed by Wisconsin at home to open the season. Uh, But I got to tell you, they made a switch at quarterback. Jordan McLeod came in, has really given some life to this team. They are talented. They've got some athletes they are home here they should win this game at home so i'll be backing south florida there to be able to get the job done all right joe let's move on to the friday slate and talking about the war on i4 usf to ucf ucf on the road at tulsa laying a big number here joe laying 17 69 being the total yeah, they listen. They've um, there's really not a whole. They got a couple of losses on the year, so they have uh, one AAC loss. I think that was to Cincinnati. Mm-hmm. So they need the Bearcats to lose two uh, in order to steal the division. I don't see that happening. We do know how explosive they are on offense. They are second in yards, fifth in points in the country. These guys are monsters. Not a good Tulsa team here. They have shown at moments that they can be really good, but they have never put it together uh, for four quarters there. So to me, uh, the nights or nothing in this particular game. Joe, and on the back half of this Friday night double header, we got Friday night lights in the Pac-12, Pac-12 after dark, Washington at Oregon State. Beavers, Beavers catching 10 at home, 65 the total here. Listen, Oregon State, do not sleep on their offense. Defensively, still a long way to go, but they are no longer the laughing stock guys. They are averaging more than 30 points per game right now. Hell, they just dropped 56, I believe, on the road. The offense really humming along right now. And, of course, you got Eason for Washington. He, in all likelihood, is going to be playing on Sundays in the near future. I do think this game is going to be won by Washington, but I do expect the over to hit rather easily in this one. 
Joe, on to the Saturday slate. We got uh, Clemson and North Carolina State at the top of the card here. Rotation number 117-118 here. Clemson laying 32.5 on the road, 53.5 the total. Yeah, so if you guys uh, caught the whole, uh, you know, hey, let's take a look at who the top four teams in the country are, the playoff committee. Yeah, you'd notice who's not in the top four right now. That would be Clemson coming in at 95, and I can promise you Dabo and company are pissed off about that. They don't want to have to be looking up at Alabama here, so I would expect that it's style points. From here on out through the rest of the year, they are going to be a determined bunch, and I think they will be determined to hit this total by themselves. I only need and how I I only need seven points from them. I can promise you they're gonna be in the forties here, Clemson alone. Give me the over in this game. Like in the over. All right, I like it, Joe. We got Florida State at Boston College as we start off with what three ACC games on the Saturday card. We got sixty three being the total. Boston College minus one and a half at home against the change at the head coaching position in the Seminoles, Joe. Tricky spot for Boston College. They got Notre Dame next week. They just came off with this blowout win against Syracuse. Happened to be our 5% play last week. Boston College getting three and a half, and they scored 900 points in the second quarter. uh, Blew the game open. In case you haven't noticed, Boston College can run the ball, and they can run it really, really well. And the only thing that scares me is they're kind of sandwiched with Notre Dame next. But to me, I can't not back Boston College. They'll control the clock. They'll control the running game. They are flying. They need one more win out of the last three to become bowl eligible. This is a big game for them. Florida State's in total shambles, guys. Give me Boston College. Staying in the ACC, Joe, we got Georgia Tech at Virginia. This one in Charlottesville. Virginia laying 15 or 15 in the hook, depending where you're shopping. 45 and a half the total. Virginia at home, hard uh, hard not to back at this point here. They've had a couple of tough luck losses there. They uh, they went through a little lull, but that defense is for real. The Yellow Jackets are in transition. That's what they're doing, trying to get away from the whole Paul Johnson triple uh, triple option. They're weak on offense. They're okay on defense. I do think Virginia at home will run it up here a little bit, have a good time. So I'm not afraid to lay the points. This is going to be somewhere around. 38 to 14, somewhere in that ballpark. All right, Joe, next game up, uh, early start here, 12 noon Eastern, Texas Tech at West Virginia. We got the Red Raiders laying two in the hook on the road, total of 60. This is uh, strange. See, West Virginia can't stop the run on defense, but they can't run the football on offense, and that, of course, is just a absolute recipe for disaster in the Big 12. I do think the offense leans a little too heavily on Kendall to make something happen, and then if it does, great. If it doesn't, they're kind of stuck. Uh, West Virginia, they've scored only 14 points in their last three games, so they do seem to me destined for a breakout here at home. Uh, the Red Raiders have given up 37 and 34 points to Kansas and Iowa State over the last two. I think the Mountaineers, I think they put it all together here. I think they put up a lot of points. I think they have some fun. I think they covered a spread. I think they might even be a live money uh, money line dog here going into this game. All right. He's Joe Ranieri down in South Florida. I am Drew Martin in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the College Football Every Game on the Board podcast each and every Wednesday morning posted at sportsmemo.com. Also on the Apple iTunes podcast and simulcast on YouTube. So you, any way you're uh, consuming the podcast, please let us know on social media. And uh, please give us the like button and share on your social media networks. We would really appreciate that. Joe, heading down to your neck of the woods here. The Miami Hurricanes hosting Louisville Cardinals here. 48 being the total. Minus six and a half. That's what Miami's laying in Miami Gardens. Yeah. Yeah, do not get in front of the Miami Hurricane train right now, guys. They've won uh, back-to-back games. They took care of Pitt. They took care of Florida State. And they finally have uh, have figured out the quarterback situation there. Williams was back. Looks great. Too many athletes on this Miami team. The thing that Louisville does well in offense, which sets everything up, is run the ball. Guess what? They are not running the ball on this Miami front seven. They are ferocious. They're healthy. They got everybody eligible, which is important when backing Miami. Who's suspended? Who's not? Uh, Miami is on the uh, on the way, guys. And to me, that Louisville defense, not reliable on the road at all. The Miami Dolphin Hard Rock Stadium is going to be cranking there over the weekend. Expect Miami to roll in this game. And Joe, real quick here. You like the trajectory of the program, what Diaz is doing? You think uh, Miami can get back to the old days? 
Uh, well, I don't, I don't know that anybody's ever going back to the old days in the ACC due to the fact that Clemson pretty much owns uh, the recruiting trail now. But Miami is always going to do well recruiting in South Florida and in Florida. And you and I both know that that's where that's where most of these SEC athletes uh, are going or coming from, rather. So being in the backyard gives them a leg up if they can win 10 games, they can win uh, a nice New Year's Bowl game, something along those lines. Yeah, look out. Miami will be back. All right. He's Joe Ranieri. And guys, check out his work at sportsmemo.com. Coupon code Joe49. That's J-O-E-4-9 at checkout for a seven-day all-access. We'll take half off. Under mm. 50 bucks. You get seven days. Every sport, every play. He releases sportsmemo.com. And guys, if you're not uh, – Already on his service, man, you're missing out. Joe Ranieri, 61% over the last month. That's 39 and 25 across all sports, Boom. up 44 return on investment, 44% here, 60.9%, so 61% over the last 30 days. Hats off to you, Joe, really making some money there. And, Joe, two games left here on this segment before we turn it over to mid-major, Matt, a little bit later in the day. We got Notre Dame at Duke looks like the Irish laying eight in Durham 51 the total Joe Notre Dame uh it's such a tough spot here with them another situation where uh what are they playing for at this point you know having lost to Georgia that was okay but then getting waxed by Michigan kind of put the uh put the kibosh on listen 10 and 2 is a good thing you're gonna go to a bowl game I don't see how I think this Notre Dame defense is going to dominate Duke. Duke, unfortunately, um, Cutliffe and company, I think he's a great coach. I just don't think he has the horses here this year in the program. They're middle of the road ACC. That's not going to get it done against a uh, Notre Dame team who's going to be able to put up points and who's going to stop you from going into the end zone. So to me, this is uh, pretty easy. I think Notre Dame, uh, they'll have no problem taking care of Duke. All right, Joe. And last game here. And guys, remember the coupon code Joe49. That's J O E49 at checkout for a seven day all access package. Sportsmemo.com. Seven day all access coupon code Joe49. Maryland at Ohio State in the Big Ten with a big spread here, Joe. Might be the biggest on the board. Ohio State minus 42, seeing sh- some shops as high as minus 43 and a half. They're hosting the Maryland Terrapins, 64 and a half the total in the horseshoe. I said, I, you know, to Terrapins, it's like false advertising, man. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like uh, it's like online dating here, guys. You look at that, right? You see why wow, they put up 79 Dan points in the in the season opener. And you're like, Maryland's going to be, woo, this is good. She's going to be hot. Yeah. Until you see him in person, you're like, God, that's not hot. That's awful. Um, and that's exactly what it's been. And we're in that same situation, guys. The next five weeks, it's all about style points and Ohio State. They're cooking, guys. They are uh, they're cooking with gas. They are rolling. And again, not a team or a program I want to get in front of here. To me, forget about the spread. I think they're going to put 60 points on the board by themselves. And I do think that Maryland will chip in uh, a couple of points here or there. I don't think they're going to have to chip in uh, many. I think Ohio State does not take their foot off the gas in Columbus in this one. Expect them to roll big. Give me the over. Uh, Great stuff, Joe, as always. Um, Joe, anything you want to throw out there before we shut this section down? No, hit us up, guys, uh, at Joe Ranieri on Twitter. Make sure you're following us. And then, of course, uh, hit us up at Sports Memo. It's, uh, It's time to make some cash this weekend. Let's do it. Uh, at Joe Ranieri on Twitter. I am at Drew Martin Betts on Twitter. And guys, the coupon code Joe49 at checkout. 61% the last month. 44% return on investment. If you've been on Joe Ranieri, congrats. And if not, take advantage of this coupon code or get the rest of the college football season all at sportsmemo.com. Coupon code Joe49 at checkout for a seven day all access package. Joe, thanks for the time, guys. Best of luck with your bets. We'll be back with Mid Major Matt next section on the College Football Every Game on the Board Betting Podcast.